right, we are on our way to a group of lakes uh, we'll call the Half Lake Loop. And uh, we're just uh, south of Cartier, Ontario. And uh, it's a beautiful day in early May. So we're, uh, we're hoping the ice is out. Looks like we might be in luck. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna head up there and we're gonna do a, about a week long trip on uh, five or six lakes and uh, do some trout fishing and here we go. All right, here we go. We've, uh, we've been dropped off on this uh, little road. It was a little rough coming in. A little. Just a little rough. <laughs> So we got, uh, we didn't make it all the way into the lake, but there's a lake we're gonna try and cut across uh, to shave some of the portaging. And yeah, we're ready to roll here. Dawson's got her, her packs on. She's carrying stuff now. She's carrying her gear. <laughs> it's a little heavy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're up here, uh, I don't know, about an hour north of Sudbury. And we're gonna go check out these lakes for a week or so. Came across these ice huts. So we must be close to the lake. Jill and June. Or Gill and June. But they look pretty fancy. Some of them. They've got hookups for uh, generators and solar, some of them, and all sorts of stuff. And then. Uh, we're way back in the bush here, but uh, if you're looking for a phone booth, here we go. The only thing is, Dawson, get out of that. Make a different deposit in here. There's your shit tickets. Some weird stuff back in the bush here. Made it to the first lake here. A little bit of snow and ice still left. And there should be a trail straight across that we'll connect back up to and it'll save portaging all the way around this lake on the other trail. And then uh, Path Lake should be only another two, 300 meters. Yeah, as you can see over there, there's snow still on the banks of the lake here so what we found uh, looks like the little portage route here to get to the next lake and yeah it's probably feels like it's about 20 degrees right now Well, we weren't quite as lucky as we thought we'd be, and uh, so the first big lake, Path Lake, is uh, still ice on, so not totally unexpected, uh, but the weather's looking really good for the next few days. So we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna go back to where we were at that little uh, lake we, we uh, went across, and uh, it's more of a pond, but it's a pretty nice spot, so we're gonna go back there for the night because it's still, well, it's about four o'clock. Set up camp and have some beers and so you can see all the snow still. So it's still pretty spring conditions here. So we've uh, come back to that little lake that we crossed earlier and we're just gonna camp here tonight. The ice is off here. And uh, found a really nice spot here facing the west. And we're on an island. These rocks don't look like they were dropped here naturally. So I'm thinking this was a really old campsite. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long, long time. But uh, yeah, we're gonna set up the tent and just enjoy the evening here.
Got everything all set up here. Decided to put the tents out in the open a little bit, but it's not gonna get too cold tonight. The wind's supposed to be pretty calm. What do you think, Dawson? You like sticks? Here we go, we got the uh, couple of steaks on, we got some veggies. Another really nice morning here. Just getting some uh, coffee water boiled up. Got down to about maybe around zero last night. So we're, uh, Dawson and I are taking a hike back over to the uh, lake that was still iced out, Path Lake. And uh, it was pretty warm last night and we had a lot of wind. It's still pretty windy. So we're hoping that the ice is out and we can get out onto that lake today. Hopes are not too high on that, but it's worth a check. As you can see, there's still, still a fair bit of ice in some areas, but it's also quite dry here. All right, well, we're, looks like we're in luck. Um, as you can see, compared to yesterday, there's still some ice out front here, but that whole section back there, and you can, looks like to the other where it hooks to the left is also open, but most of this lake is now, looks like it's open. So I think we're, uh, we're good to get out here and it looks like it's coming in pretty quick. So. We should be able to sneak around this bit of ice here and hopefully get through. If not, we can hike around that side and get over there. He's a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back at our uh, first campsite here. We got everything packed up. Yeah, the ice looks like it's gonna come out. The rest of it will be out later today, but uh, good to at least get on the lake. And uh, we'll find a spot to camp for tonight. It's supposed to go down pretty chilly tonight. So we're gonna find a spot that's a little more sheltered and probably camp there for a couple of nights. All right, we got all of our stuff down here. As you can see, the ice is out even more and we're gonna just gonna punch our way through the, the slush here and uh, get out into Path Lake. Just using the uh, Royal X boat here as a uh, icebreaker. These pieces are pretty thick still. There, we just came through another chunk of ice, but it's it's just mostly slush now. So we're gonna go and find ourselves a place to camp for the night. All right, we think we found a spot. Nice view. Really old fire pit. Tent. 
night of day two, we're uh, a few kilometers into Path Lake. But uh, yeah, really nice spot here under the pines and looks like it's been used a long time ago. But I uh, got everything set up. We're lazy tonight, huh? Yeah. I think that's more than two cups, but... That's probably... Another beauty day here on Path Lake. Had a nice fire last night. It was uh, down to minus two last night. Felt like minus seven according to the weather. So yeah, I'm just gonna go out and uh, try and catch some fish. All right, I'll show you what I've got here set up for uh, lake trout fishing. Brought along a little more gear than we normally would for fishing. Normally I wouldn't bring a fish finder and um, actually I've, this rod holder here is a bit chunky for my liking, but uh, I've got a smaller one I take on uh, bigger backcountry clip trips that's uh, a lot lighter. Um, yeah, I'm running a uh, Striker 4 off of a lithium battery here. Um, I haven't drained it yet, but I've heard it'll last uh, about five days if you're going six, eight hours a day. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I've rigged it up actually on my uh, Agua saw here. Um, kind of cool thing is you can lift it up. If you need to um, so I've got the transducer mounted on there um, got my rod holder um, I'm trolling with a right now I'm trolling a uh, red little Clio and then I usually run a two and a half three feet of, of line um, up to a, uh, a swivel tee here I think that's what they're called um, and I'm just running three uh, uh, weights off of that. Um, sometimes I'll drop a, uh, a full, another two feet off of this um, to create a more of a downrigger. But this method, um, I like it because it keeps things less messy and uh, you don't get tangled up as much as when you have uh, the downrigger set up. But this seems to bring the weight down pretty well. Um, so it gets you down to a good, good level uh, pretty quickly. Um, but this is all, all I usually use. Um, the trout I was catching yesterday was uh, it's actually sixty to seventy feet deep when it hit. So they're down deep right now. Um, normally you'd think they'd be up in the fifteen foot range, but uh, that's where they've been hitting right now. Um, the ice just went out, so that maybe that's uh, they're still waiting for the, the water to to change a little bit. But uh, the temperature was about 43 degrees, so still uh, very cold temperatures. And then I've also got the uh, the front of the canoe weighted with a couple of rocks too, just because it gets windy here and I don't want to get blown around. So that's the rig. Now we'll try and catch some fish. Not sure how well you can see it, but uh, there's a bit of a film on the, kind of a gray colored film on the top of the water here. That's actually black fly larva. And there's just millions and millions of them. And uh, those are going to be hatching very soon. So I think we're going to get lucky and not have to deal with, uh, with black flies. 
but uh, they're coming quick here. You can see in the water, it's just completely full of black fly larvae. You can see here, look at that. Wear a good bug jacket, it's not too bad. All right, I'm just gonna head into this other section of the lake and see if we can pick something up there. No luck in the first spot. Looks like somebody uh, hauled this thing in here. You can do everything on it. You can do fry, grill, barbecue, broil, roast, bake, smoke, rotis. It's one of the not great things about Crown, Crown Land is people don't really look after the sites too well. You got people just leaving their beer cans and tins and stuff all over the bush here. But it's a beautiful spot. All right, we're having a lunch here. Hillary's cooking up some uh, chicken stew. And then we got the uh, reflector oven going. First time trying this out, but this is uh, the bannock with some uh, cinnamon and brown sugar and blueberries in it. That's a good one. Nice. That's a good one. Nice. Nice. Laker. <laughs> They're dark. It's a nice fish. Nice sizzling lake trout with some spices on it. Signature blend. <laughs> really nice view. Mm -hmm. Really nice. garter snake all right we're gonna do a little uh, day trip we decided that uh, since this lake was so nice that we'd just stay here for a few days and maybe do a couple day trips so uh, we're gonna just go try and see if we can get up into uh, Path Creek and then into Upper Path Lake and then maybe if we're lucky we'll get into Green Lake. I think it might be Upper Green Lake. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's any portages or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll take a look. Just entering into Path Creek. Pretty windy today, so we're getting a bit of help here. Looks like it's maybe a kilometer in here that we could paddle and we're hoping to either carry around or paddle through into the next lake. So we're just at, uh, looks like there's a portage trail, which is nice. 
the end of uh, Path Creek. So we're gonna take that. These crown lakes, you get a lot of these old, uh, old beasts. This is an old, uh, I think it's steel. It's pretty heavy. This is where you hit the champagne bottle right there. <laughs> on Upper Path Lake here. Took a little short short portage shortcut. And uh, now we're just trying to find the portage into uh, Upper Green Lake. So we found a, looks like a trail to the uh, Upper Green Lake. Know what I could go for right now? Some flavor blasted craven ketchup goldfish. Back at the uh, portage entrance to uh, Upper Green Lake. We're just gonna head back to uh, Path Lake. So it'll probably be a couple hours to get back, but pretty windy today. No fish on this lake, unfortunately. There's some old ice shack here. Number FU3215. Heading back into Path Lake. Careful, it's icy. to stretch that one out. Back, 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 back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pack up and uh, head down the lake to another spot and check a hat out for a couple of nights. There was this stubby bottle here, old beer bottle. We'll call it Stubby Island. Another beautiful day, really windy, but about 18 degrees. And it's only uh, May 10th, and you can still see over there across the lake. There's uh, there's still six inches of snow in some spots. Hey, Dawson, I'm gonna go check out another campsite. Found another campsite.
we have had perfect weather for five days straight. I'm gonna jinx it, but. This morning trying to get some fish. It's about 7.30 a.m. Just doing a troll in the spot uh, where I've been seeing some fish. And uh, maybe they'll bite better today with the clouds. We shall see. Tonight, the last night on the camping trip, got uh, Kind of a mac and cheese remix. It's got uh, dehydrated beef, vegetables, We've got some cheese in there, some mac and cheese mix, and they're topping it off with uh, some bacon bits. But, uh, yeah, the winds calmed down here on our last night. We're going to go out and try some fishing and then we're going to pack up and then we're going to head out tomorrow morning. Look at this. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those bacon bits. <laughs> right Dawson? Just hauling into the shore. Last little fishing attempt. We saw a seagull nesting. Some ducks. It's a waterfowl on this trip. Nice, fairly calm night. I'm gonna go back and have a little bonfire. All right, morning of uh, our last day. We had a huge storm last night, about 3 a.m., and then uh, continued till about 5. But, uh, yeah, some big storms came in up over this way towards us, and the wind wasn't too bad, but there was lots of thunder and lightning, and area finally got some rain, which I think is a good thing, because there was a lot of uh, tinder dry wood, but uh, probably wasn't enough to really make things uh, super wet, but help for a few days anyways. All right. All right, back where we started at uh, Path Lake. When we were here a week ago, it was frozen solid. So we picked up uh, these gear straps. I don't know what they're called. Sea to Summit gear straps. And uh, instead of carrying the paddles separately and the rods separately, you can just have one hand. You can carry everything all at once on the portages. And uh, I use those straps a few different times on the trip for uh, mounting things and strapping stuff onto the canoe. And so they're pretty handy. Thanks, Northern Scavenger, for the tip. Yeah, we saw that on the Northern Scavenger. So thanks for the tip. <laughs> hey, goodbye, Lake. Here they are waiting for us. Perfect timing. We had a blast on this first trip of the season, and we hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching.